In this next section of visualization training, we're going to take what we did in the last session one step further. Where we colored our polygons or inside our polygon one single color, we're now going to apply colors to all of our individual polygons. So when we look at our road, we will give that a color of road bitumen. When we look at our foot part or edge of shoulder, we'll give that a color of road shoulder and when we look at our back foot path or the verge we'll give that a color of grass one etc and once again as I said previously these colors were all created from our template our rural template these colors come from here okay so in the previous session we colored it the whole thing in one color and we don't need to do that we only did that to make it a little bit easier to see in our perspective view we're now going to give it individual colors so once again we go to tins color color within a polygon we select our combined surface to color in we're going to use the polygon colors this time instead of selecting a color like we did previously we're going to use the polygon colors we're going to color inside of them and instead of doing selecting each polygon individually we'll just use a model of polygons and this model will be road one polys which was created by our apply many okay if I just hit color here this may take some time as there's quite a number of triangles to triangulate but once it's finished we can click on finish go back into our perspective view and you can see instantly that all of our different polygons have then been colored with the color that was defined by our template file so we have the road bitumen road shoulder grass one grass two grass and then the interface polygons are just red and green depending on whether they're cut and whether or not they're fill okay so if we go for a drive down the road you can see that our visualization is starting to take shape however it's still not quite perfect yet okay what we want to do is take these colors and apply some textures to them so to do that we just go to view visualization we go back into our tin render settings just call up the combined tin again you can see the mar the model for the rasters is still set and on this occasion we want to add in our texture mapping now 12d provides a texture mapping file already for you if we just edit and have a look at it you can see it takes each of those colors that we talked about the visualization colors such as road bitumen and it applies a texture to it now these textures are just simple 256 by 256 um, bitmap images and they're stored in our setups images file and you can go out and take photos of anything you like or download them from the web and create your own and essentially all we're doing is taking a color and saying anywhere that our triangulation is colored that color I want you to apply this texture and we can do the same with our road shoulder if we have a look under road we'll see our shoulder will be a slightly uh, lighter gray and we also have different ones for sand for rock for texture of stones texture of grass. One thing that we haven't taken into consideration yet is that when 12D created the polygons in areas of cut and fill it's just used the colors red and green and also the transition between the cut and fill areas it's used a cyan color. If we have a look in our texture map these colors have yet to be included so we'll just add them in red we'll give that a texture of dirt one green we'll give that a texture of sand one and finally cyan We'll map that the same as our 
green color so that it transitions quite nicely and we'll just call that sand one also so if I click on update on this click yes then just write this away to our local visualization directory you can see it's our texture map.4d file you can customize this at any time by opening this file or by doing it inside of 12d here and click right and finish finish on that if I go back into my tin render settings panel and just click on set and do a refresh on the perspective view finish on that and then if we go for a drive down the road I'll just change my eye height to say 1.5 meters and continue our drive down the road we can see here we have our asphalt surface our road shoulders texture some grass through the verge and the drains and then in areas of cut we've cut into this nice dirt areas of fill we've filled it with the sand